Hey, truth seekers, welcome to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I am back with another work and money forecast, and I am using the Tattoo Tarot deck for somebody's element. I don't know who that is yet, but <clears throat> while I am preparing your forecast, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because I know you'll forget it. Again. I do it. I do it. I have to get in the habit of it, okay? I empathize. I understand. I don't think you're just not doing it. I just think you're not thinking about it. So go ahead and do it now. Then you can change your mind later. Okay? Check the description box for information. And um, if you have not, please check out your raw forecast, your raw reading. What I call your raw points. You got the raw points. If you would like the extension, you can order that from me for four dollars and ninety nine cents. Just four dollars and ninety nine cents. Let me tell you something. It is good, <laughs> and it's only going to get better, right? So we may get one more scenario before the month of January is out. I don't know. It just depends on how my schedule goes. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, I don't know what element this is yet, but I know it's not water and earth. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Can you see that? I'm using a different device right now. It's based on the Ten of Swords. And what you can expect is the King of Cups reverse. Ooh, I don't like that. And that is stemming from the Devil reverse. With an outcome of the Eight of Swords. We're going to discuss the conflict and the solution or what the supporting energy in just a moment. But your underlying energy is the Nine of Cups. Can you see that? Okay. The Nine of Cups. I'm hearing entertainment. Entertainment. But entertainment presentation food and beverage coming up empty this is what you're expecting or what you can expect to have to fish around to have to come up with the goods maybe you have to put stuff together like um, improvise. This is for air elements. You can it's in pencil. I don't know if you can see that. So if you are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this reading could possibly be for you. It could possibly apply next week. Okay, so air signs, you're coming up empty this week for some reason. It's based on the ending. It's like you threw it, you threw it in the towel. Sun, moon, rising, and cuffs sign. I don't know if it's for all elements that are watching or you're looking for something else. You're coming up empty. Some of you are looking for a new fish. Okay, something new. Because the reason why I say that is because it's stemming from the devil reverse. Now, oftentimes the devil to me, and I'm sensing now, stems from a commitment. Because when it was up, you were troubled, you was conflicted, you were perplexed, you didn't want to make a decision, you want to keep both of them, whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? But when it's reversed, it's like ultimatum. You either take this or you don't. It's kind of like at the top. You rethinking your choice or um, you rethinking the choice you made or um, you, you had that ultimatum and you made that choice. You know what I'm saying? And generally it gives you a sense of peace. But for whatever reason, it looks like you didn't make the best choice. Because you're coming up empty. 
or having to look for something new. It's all um, surrounded around the um, Knight of Cups energy. Okay. Now, you you feel like you're ready, like you have bloomed, like you have done the work, like you can offer yourself. You can offer something. You can you can give your cup. Okay. For some of you. This is definitely about doing something new, going your own path. This is tough, doing your own thing, you know. But like I said, it could also be going into something new. A lot of times, this is going to school. Some of you throwing and giving up your job maybe to go to school, okay, to advance your career. You know, you have to leave one thing to do another, okay. Because it's, it's really based on being tired, fed up, a scandal of some sort. Like, something drastic happened or is happening. And it is causing you to say, no, I'm throwing in the towel. I'm not doing this. I need to do something for me. Okay? Let's clarify this devil card, okay? The devil reverse. Because I'm also sensing change. Like, you felt chained to something. You felt bound. And now, you know, this, but you know what? More than that, I really want to know why the king of cups. Okay, clarify the devil. Oops, you popped out. Strength card. You also got the princess of wands. You got the strength card and the princess of wands here. I hope y'all saw that. Yeah, you're tired. You know, it's like you want to ride your saddle on out of here and just go and... Really commune with yourself. You need a break. Now the Princess of Wands came out with this strength card. And I'm still sensing that air signs want, is they like something else. It's something else that they have their eyes on. It's something else they want to follow. They don't want to do this no more. Whatever this 10 of swords is, air signs. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Cups, and Cups, not or, and Cups, are tired and fed up, and the, the, it's, it's based on something drastic. It could be, it could even be your health. This could be your health. This could be your mental health. Okay? So let's find out what the conflict is. The conflict is justice, okay? Now, this could have ended legally. Now, this doesn't mean a courtroom all the time. You know, you have policies and procedures, statutes, laws, and stuff that goes with your work as well. We all sign agreements when that happens, you know? So that's a legality, you know? Just like you can file grievances and stuff with your employer, they can file stuff with you as well. Like, we, we put in for you to leave your job. You know, but I keep feeling like it's stemming from feeling chained, feeling bound, feeling um, needy. Some of you, maybe they was people's feeling too needy, like they needed you too many. Maybe you was working a lot of overtime. It's just like y'all, y'all need. Uh, 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 uh. I, I can't do this no more because the outcome is definitely about the eight of swords. Like this. Trying to figure something out, trying to figure out how to get where you want to go, which could relate to this um, king, this king, I'm sorry, this knight of cups, okay? So think about how to get where you want to go. How to get where you want to go. 
How am I going to do this? Why am I going to do this? Because something has definitely ended. And what's going to help you is the Nine of Wands reverse. Now, what I'm hearing is transparency. And some of you just going to, I'm hearing literally some of you going to have to cross the line. Now, with that being said, let me give you a piece of advice. There is an old adage, old wise adage from ancient times that talks about laws and rules. And we all know that you can't keep every last zillion rule and law of the earth. It's impossible. Some rules and laws are stupid, but they have their reasons for being established. But what old wise wisdom tells us that if you have to break a rule or a law, do it respectfully. Do it respectfully. Okay? So, that's coming out of this. That's, that's an intuitive message from this card. This is not card reading. Some of you are going to have to cross the line. Some of you just really going to have to be bold and approach whatever this ending is and approach something. You're going to have to make a decision and approach the situation. You're going to have to just go for it. You're going to have to just go for it. Why are you having to just, you just don't, why am I telling you that you're just going to have to go for it? Maybe we'll find out in your um, spiritual vibe oracle message or in your mother piece of omen, which we'll do now. So we know your outcome is figuring it out. Figuring out how I'm going to do this based on this drama, based on this ending. Somebody is throwing in the towel. Definitely. Like, the gloves are off. Like, I am done. I am done with the drama. I can't do this shit. I can't. It's too hard. It's too much. All right. Air signs. Sun, moon, rising, cups. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Okay. The Partnership. Ooh, so it's something you shouldn't count out. Don't assume something. But I mean, it's a partnership, okay? Hmm. Now, this could go either way. King of Swords, King of Swords energy is brilliant energy. Energy that is you know what? Don't count your chickens before they head. It's somebody's advice you need to take. You think you know, but you don't know. Because this this is the this King of Swords is a transformer. They give great advice. They know a lot of shit. You need to think about that. You need to think about what they said. Underline the images, the seven of wands. Okay? And that's about being brave. And taking the initiative and focusing on that, that thing that, that you need to get done in spite of all that's going on around you. Okay? That's the underneath the energy. This is brave heart to me. But this is definitely saying... You need to air signs. You need to take some kind of advice. Don't think you know. Okay? And with that being said, I'm going to close it out here. Again, check the description box. I hope you enjoyed uh, your forecast. And I look forward to bringing you another work and money forecast for next week. Take care of yourself until next time. And I'll see you on another one. Peace. One love. Don't forget to like the video.